and we're back. What do I have to do now? Hmm? Oh, this guy again. Okay, let's see, let's see. Bring it. Why am I going to Jimmy's bar? No androids allowed? No what? No pets or androids? I don't know how I feel about this, but I'm a rebel, I guess. We're gonna go in anyway. Scan people's faces? Don't mind if I do. Oh, who's that? Alright, so I'm gonna scan everybody in here. Does, any, does everyone have a record in here or something? Oh, you got something to say? Androids weren't allowed. Something to say? Who's this guy? Yeah, you better look the other way. This guy? Do I have like eyes in the back of my head? Sure, How can I scan these guys this way? I mean... Criminal record, domestic abuse. Well, that's not nice. Right. Hide your face? Is that right? Okay. Anybody in the bathroom? I'm gonna scan you too. Looking good. Hey, get out of here. Looking good. Alright. Anybody in here? Everyone in person and employment rate. That's not cool. Okay, can we get out of here? Alright. Scan. Let's scan some more, shall we? Oh, found him. Hello there, sir. Lieutenant Anderson. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. I looked for you at the station, but nobody knew where you were. They said you were probably having a drink nearby. I was lucky to find you at the fifth bar. What do you want? You were assigned a case early this evening. A homicide involving a Cyberlife android. In accordance with procedure, the company has allocated a specialized model to assist investigators. Well, I don't need any assistance. Especially not from a plastic asshole like you. Just hey. be a good little robot and get the fuck out of here. That's not cool. Lieutenant Anderson, I must inform you that I intend to file a report on your behavior. <sighs> okay. We got a hot shot here. I'm sorry, Lieutenant, but I must insist. My instructions stipulate that I have to accompany you. Do you know where you can stick your instructions? <laughs> no. Where? Never mind. Mm, spill that drink. You have too much. I think we can go now. You prick! I don't know what's stopping me from knocking you out. Your sense of duty, Lieutenant. And the cost of repairs if you damage me. For your information, I'm worth a small fortune. Wonders of technology. They could even program assholes these days. It is what it is. Let it go. Duty calls. <sighs> Alright, let's find out what this is about. Instructions are to accompany you to the crime scene, Lieutenant. Listen, 
I don't give a fuck about your instructions. I told you to wait here, so you shut the fuck up and you wait here. Josh Douglas for Channel 16. Can you confirm that this is a homicide? I'm not confirming anything. Go here. Androids are not permitted beyond this point. It's with me. What part of staying in the car didn't you understand? Your order contradicted my instructions, Lieutenant. You don't talk, you don't touch anything, and you stay out of my way. Got it? Got it. Evening, Hank. We were starting to think you weren't gonna show. Yeah, that was the plan till this asshole found me. So, you got yourself an android, huh? Oh, very funny. Just tell me what happened. We had a call around eight from the landlord. The tenant had to take his rent for two months. I thought he drove by. That's interesting. Drive on. That went around the bar. All right, let's see what's this all about. Jesus, that smell. It was even worse before we opened the windows. The victim's name's Carlos Ortiz. He has a record for theft and aggravated assault. According to the neighbors, he was kind of a loner. Stayed inside most of the time. They hardly ever saw him. Wow, well, stayed he's in. Wasn't worth calling everybody out in the middle of the night. Oh, that's the red ice thing again. Huh. Could have waited till morning. I'd say he's been there for a good three weeks. We'll know more when the coroner gets here. There's a kitchen knife over here. Probably the murder weapon. Hmm. Any sign of a break-in? Nope. The landlord said the front door was locked from the inside. All the windows were boarded up. The killer must have gone out the back way. What do we... You know about his android? Not much. The neighbors confirmed he had one, but it wasn't here when we arrived. I, I gotta get some air. Make yourself at home. I'll be outside if you need me. Definitely a struggle here or something. What's here? This has fingerprints, the knife didn't. Now we know what everybody used. Say so. We're taking samples for analysis. Oh, what's that? Oh, Maxine. Never mind. Okay, we'll put that back down. Goodbye. Next. Red ice. Seems our friend Carlos liked to party. Door was 
locked from the inside. Killer must have gone out this way. There are no footprints apart from Officer Collins' size 10 shoes. Well, this happened weeks ago. Tracks could have faded. No, this type of soil would retain a trace. Nobody's been out here for a long time. I want full analysis on the narcotics. Consider it done, Lieutenant. Hey, Mike, you finished taking samples there? Yeah, that's it. figured out what happened. Oh, yeah? Shoot, I'm all ears. It all started in the kitchen. There are obvious signs of a struggle. The question is, what exactly happened here? I think the victim attacked the android with the bat. Lines up with the evidence. Go on. Mm, the android stabbed him. The android stabbed the victim. So the android was trying to defend itself, right? Okay, then what happened? The victim fled to... The living room? The living room. murdered the victim with the knife. Okay. Your theory's okay. not totally ridiculous. But it doesn't tell us where the android went. It was damaged by the bat and lost some therium. Lost some what? Therium. You call it blue blood. It's the fluid that powers androids' biocomponents. It evaporates after a few hours and becomes invisible to the naked eye. Oh, but I bet you can still see it, can't you? Correct. Yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, there it is. Cool. Splits in two directions. Go here though. The fight's. There's no way he's still here. Where is he? Or about. Let's see here. Oh, what? 
it. It's here. That chair. I'm going to check something. Uh, I'm going to check something. Scares, please. Come on, who's here? Okay, that's a bit odd. Okay. How has he been here for nineteen days? Doesn't sound like you were defending yourself. You're just gonna kill me. Uh, I'm begging you. Don't tell me. I don't know about that. Connor, what the fuck is going on up there? It's here, Lieutenant! Oh shit. Chris! Ben! Get your asses in here now! even do for 19 days. Jeez. Oh hey, we're back here. Ah, oh, poor Alice. I really feel bad for her. Todd really needs to learn a lesson. Todd. Oh. Dinner is ready. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I gotta say, these androids are really fast at making food. It, like it just material it's like it just materialized out of nowhere. Crazy. There wasn't much in the kitchen. I did what I could. Ah, looks pretty good to me. I just realized her hand is like weird, weirdly put back together. Must be from the drawings. 
that Alice made. Life's funny. I lost my job because of androids. And I need somebody to take care of this goddamn house. What do I do? I go out and hire a fucking android. I mean, what a joke. You could have just done the work yourself. Uh, of course, androids are so fucking wonderful. They never fail. They never tired. They were sad. They're so fucking perfect. They ruined my fucking life. Okay, Todd. Stop moving Calm around, down. for Christ's sake! You're making me nervous. Okay, relax, buddy. What are you looking at? What's your fucking problem? Not the life you dreamed of, eh? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault we live in this fucking shithole. My fault your fucking mother took off. I mean, it is. I'm not gonna lie you here. You stop taking drugs, Todd. Sometimes you really scare me, Todd. Fucking bitch took off without a word. Fucking whore walked out on me for a fucking accountant. Fucking fuck! Oh my god. Model parent. Not. Get back here. Come back here? Come back here right now! You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move. Or I'll bust you worse than last time. You don't tell me what to do, dude. Nah, 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 nah. We gotta go. What? Oh my god. No, 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 no. We, we gotta go. We don't got time for this. We don't have time for this. Alice needs our help. Oh, it's like I broke my algorithm or something. That's cool. Oh, there's a gun here. That's exactly what I need. Get it fast. Move it. Okay, bring it, Todd. Can't reason with yes. So here we go. That's enough. Hey, hey, hey. Leave her alone. Put that belt away, sir. Put down the gun and get the fuck out of here. That's an order! No! I want you to leave her alone. You want? What do you mean you want? What are you gonna do? I'll shoot you. You're gonna shoot me, is that it? Oh yeah, no problem, You're bro. You're gonna shoot a human? Oh, you seem to have a problem. I think we need to fix that. Um, I don't know what we do. Fix you, Todd. Fix that. Come here, bitch. Like androids fight or something? Can we like learn karate in three seconds? Uh, I guess not. Come on, come on, come on. You didn't listen. It's too bad. Yeah. We need 
some therapy for this. It'll be okay, Alice. At least it'll be better than being in that house. That's rough. By far the most boring party I've been to in the last 25 years. Every time I go to one of these, I ask myself, what the hell am I doing here? I hate cocktail parties and all the schmoozers that go there. Well, it's a chance for all those people who admire your work to meet you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one gives a damn about art. All they care about is how much money they're going to make out of it. Come on, let's have a drink. Oh, the excitement of this whole thing has made me thirsty. Let's do it. Let's do it. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm old enough to choose my own medication. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Okay. Call the police. Detroit police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. There may have been a break-in. A patrol car is on the way. Let's go check it out. Yeah, let's do it. Marcus, no, I'm gonna come with you. I'm not risking your safety, Carl. Who's this? Oh, Leo, look who's here. My father's plastic toy. Leo. What's going on? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. It's crazy what some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Leave, dude. Look, I've already called the police. You should go now before you get yourself into more trouble. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing? That's enough! Get out! Right now! What makes it so special Whoa. anyway, huh? What's he got that I don't? Leave him alone! Uh, uh. Come on! Let's see what you got! Marcus, don't defend yourself, you hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Stop, Stop it. What's the matter, too much of a pussy? Stop it, Leo! Stop it! Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch! No. Okay. <sighs> You're not a real person. You're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. And I'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart. And nobody's gonna give a shit.
Leo. Oh my God. Leo. My little boy. Damn it. Carl, I... They'll destroy you, Marcus. You gotta go. Get out of here. Uh... Get out! Now! Go! Marcus! Don't fucking move! And that's it for this part of the series. Um, made some good choices, made some bad choices. I feel like I, uh, I'm leaning on the part of justice on this one. I'm really empathizing with the androids here. And it sucks, but... Um, yeah, this game really knows how to pull on your strings, so... Really interesting story so far. Let's see what happens next. So if you liked what you've seen so far, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.